Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannet Reviews, where today we're checking out a 2020 Ranger Tugs R25. Now I filmed this one last year at the St. Petersburg Boat Show, and I understand she's been sold since then, but she's such a spectacular boat, I thought I'd share the video with everybody and give you an idea into what's possibly the best 25 footer on the market. Boarding's easily done on a bathing platform, and I like the fact it's on either side of the outboard, and that engine's a 250 horse Yamaha, which lets you reach speeds of around 37 knots in the right condition, but you'll cruise at around 20 knots. Now once we're in the aft cockpit, you see we've got these pop-up folding seats, a great use of space. There's storage underneath the deck, and since she's outboard driven, there's a ton of space down here. So much so that despite being 25 foot, some people even use these boats to do the great loop. We've got an extended canopy cover over the top, and that gives you plenty of shade and protection. And then as we make our way inside, you can see it's got a pop-up window on the port side, as well as an opening door to starboard, and it just makes it a really open, bright, airy boat on the inside. And to starboard is where you'll find the galley. You've got the stove top, you've got the sink, you've got a little fridge down below. And as standard, these ones come with 99 gallons of fuel and 34 gallons of water. And I like the fact that the galley is right next to the aft cockpit. That way it's so much easier to get those refreshments out to your friends and family. And this one has since been sold, but at the boat show she was up for sale for $174,900. She only had 65 hours on the clock. She comes with solar panel, bow thruster, windlass, and full electronics, including radar. And then on the port side is where you've got the kind of saloon and dining area mixed in as one. But this table, it lowers, and this also becomes another berth for you. But they've got a really clever design for making use of space. Well, there's actually another berth underneath this. It's kind of like a pilot berth. But it means that this boat's only 25 foot long, but she's got four adult berths on board. I was also impressed with the headroom of this boat. I'm six foot two, and I didn't have any issues when I was walking around here. You can see we've also got a microwave oven that was underneath the seat. And the backrest in these seat can be forward facing or rear facing, depending on what you're doing. And then to starboard, we've got the helm position, and I love that seat where you've got a bolster effect. You can sit down or you can stand up. You've got a large multifunction display. As I said, this was hooked up with radar, chart plotter, sonar, full engine instrumentation. And I love how bright it is overhead. I've actually been on tugboats, and I love that design where you can see up. And if you were tackling something like the Great Loop, this would be great for going through the lock gates where you can keep an eye on what's up ahead. And then moving down below, the forward berth, it's got infill cushions here. You can see it's almost like a large double bed. But even down here, there's great headroom, and there's also a number of hatches and portholes. There's natural light coming in, and it just makes it feel like a very spacious boat, despite its size. We've even got a TV mounted up. And then on the starboard side is where you'll find a heads compartment. Not only do you have the toilet, but you've got the shower here, as well as plenty of storage for your toiletries and personal belongings. And then as I make my way back out, you'll start to see the wood effect that we have. You've also got the quality decking. And just overall, there's great attention to details, a very high specification, and it's just hard to imagine that you can put this boat on a trailer and tote behind your truck or SUV. And I love the space that's in the aft cockpit. If you want to have seats and you have people socialising, that's great. But if you want to pop those up, it's a great spot for doing some fishing. You may even want to do some snorkeling and diving as well. And you can see for when you're walking up to the bow, there's plenty of handholds in place. And those aerial masks all drop down to help with the bridge clearance. And then again on the bathing platform, it surrounds the engine. Not only is that great access for the water, but it's also great access for servicing and maintaining the engine. And the easier it is to maintain an engine, the more likely it is the engine will be maintained. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this one. If you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, if you could please hit the like and subscribe button. It really does make a difference for the channel's growth. And I always look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.